Good, Good morning, morning Skyhawks. Today is Friday, October 3rd, 2023, and we're today's host, Leah and Alex. And, and let's, let's get, get ready, ready for, for your Skyhawk News. Seniors, college application help is available in C101 during both lunches on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday until November 24th. Seniors, if you're interested in attending Chafee College after high school, please look at the 2024 Seniors Teams channel to register for the workshop on November 7th. The last day to register is today. If you have any questions, please contact your counselor. An audition workshop will be held November 6th after school in H104. Anyone interested in auditioning for Into the Woods is highly encouraged to attend. You're invited to join Shades of Blue in our quest to create a pipeline for the next generation of airline personnel. The Shades of Blue Airline Symposium is this weekend, November 4th and 5th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Ontario International Airport at Hangar No. 34. Homework Center will be held in the Teacher's Lounge from 3.35 to 4.35 p.m. on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Alex, is a pumpkin a fruit or a vegetable? Um, is it a fruit? <laughs> Let's see if Alex is right on this week's Getting School. Hey Skyhawks, I'm Mattel. I'm Felicity. And we're your Team A Getting School. Let's see who our new contestants for this week. Okay, I'm here with Danny Sutton and Arandi. I'm here with Melissa. I'm here with Emily and Isaac Casano. How many pounds of candy corn are produced each year? 30,000. What? 30,000? I'm gonna say like 4 million. Six. Six. 35 million. Are you sure? Are you sure? 6 million? 6,000 six, six or 6 million? 6,000. Mm. You said? 35 million. How many pounds? Okay. Yeah, so like they're usually really light. So I'm going to be like like 50 pounds probably. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you here? Oh. Um, like maybe like 150. Mm. 150? When was Halloween first celebrated? The 31st of October. <laughs> Why are you just look at me like Okay. Nineteen twelve. Ronnie? Uh nineteen thirteen. <laughs> Is that you guys' final answer? Yup. Yeah. yeah, you sure? Yeah, yeah. Like late eighteen hundreds. Obviously oh, on the third time. Okay, about. okay. Uh I go with the seventeen hundreds. <laughs> That's what she just said. Oh. October 31st. Okay. You don't want to change it? 1914. Yeah. Final answer? Yeah, yeah final answer. Oh, wait, I want to change 1950. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's your guys' final answer? Yeah, yeah. Oh, actually, hold on. 1960. <laughs> oh, wait, I want to change my uh, 1917, actually. Just, it just appeared to me, 1917. Yeah, 1917. Yeah. Is, a, is pumpkin a fruit or a vegetable? Um, a fruit. Why? Because it has seeds inside. It's a fruit? I think it's a fruit because it's just really yummy. Oh, fruit. Fruit? Why? Okay, it has seeds. Uh, I think it's a vegetable because they grow from the ground. Uh, it's a fruit. It's a fruit? Yeah. That's all we have for you this week on Getting School. I'm Felicity. I'm Mattel. And we'll see you guys in the next one.
Hip-Hop's coach Natalie. So, and I want Hip-Hop to win. My name's Kayleen and I want Linker to win. Vanessa and this is Celine and we are officers of Hip-Hop Club and we are the winners of Battle of the Club! Now let's pass it over to Bernice with sports. Hey Skyhawks, I'm Bernice Arciga and I'm back at it again to help you cheer on the sports section this week. Our girls tennis team are going into CIF with duos coming in second and third place. Amazing job ladies! Our football team had a great game last Friday against Rupa Hills with a score of 14 to 13. They're going into CIF. Good luck today. Now let's head on to meet the coach and see who it is. I've been coaching at Southern High School for eight years now, and I coach varsity football. Um, I think what inspired me is when I uh, talked to my high school coach, and he basically said I would make a good coach. Um, he liked the way I helped my other teammates out and the way we worked on the field with my other teammates and how I learned to adjust on and off the field as far as the locker room and, you know, just being a football player. <laughs> oh, man, that's tough. Um, sometimes think, uh, football can be overwhelming and time consuming, but you know, at the end of the day, we try not to bring football home. You know, we leave it at the field, and uh, I think that keeps me happy and keeps my home balanced. Okay, the football. This is my object. Uh, football provides me peace, reminds me of my childhood. I've always had a football. And before I had a football, I had to make a football out of t-shirts or whatever we had, and we would tape it up. So when I finally got my own football, I cherished it, I went to sleep with it. And um, it reminds me of all my friends and family who we shared time throwing the ball with. And peace. Uh, shout outs to the Southern High School football team, Southern High School baseball teams, basketball, volleyball, all the club sports, and the amazing administration we have here at Southern High School and TV Pro. Our boys and girls cross country had no runs this week, but are working hard for first place. Now let's look at all their progress with an all access. Water polo team had an amazing game last Thursday against Granite Hills with a score of 20 to 5. Spectacular job, boys! It seems one of their players is this week's athlete of the week. Wonder who?
guys, my name is Mark Petro. I'm a junior and I play linebacker and running back. And I'm this week's athlete of the week. I've been an uh, athlete of the week knowing that all my hard work and dedication has brought me this far. And yeah. I first touched the football when I was four years old, then I first played tackle football when I was five. And I've just been playing ever since. Team chemistry is good because we all work for each other and we all have each other's backs. We feel good uh, going into playoffs knowing that it's a home game this weekend and that we have y'all support at the game. I'd like to give a shout out to God, um, the team of course, coaches, friends, and family, and my boy Mosesi. Well, that's it for this week, Skyhawks. I'm Berenice Arciga, and now that we're all caught up with sports, let's tumble our way back to the news. See you guys on the sideline. Well, that's, that's all, all we have, have for you today, today Skyhawks. Skyhawks. We've been today's host, Alex. And Leah. And, and this, this has been Skyhawk, Skyhawk News. News. See you next time. As we take to the skies, we spread our wings of blue and silver as we fly the sky of bright, loyal in our hearts, body, spirit, mind. We come, we learn, we lead the way forever. I know, right? Alex has been kind of one of the best. I'm not really. I think it's Angel. No, Angel takes too many takes. How? How? how actually, oh. Alex yeah, took the longest. If you actually look at the board. <laughs> but Angel can't can't even like, talk. He mumbles a lot. No, he doesn't. Alex doesn't even show facial expressions. But Angel is kind of trash. <laughs> What the heck was he doing? Hey, Angel. Hey, Beth. So, what do you think about the competition between you and Alex? What competition? You know the competition. People are saying that Alex is better than you. First of all, who's saying that? I didn't hear nothing. You said that? I don't know why you would say that. Like, clearly, I'm the better anchor. I've been here longer. Like, obviously, I'm more of a pro. Like, I'm the better anchor. Doesn't matter. That's why you're saying it. But like, what matters is, do you think you're better than him? I don't. I don't think I'm better than Alex. I know I'm better than him. Hey, Alex. Have you heard what Angel's been saying about you? Uh, no, why? He's been saying that you're really, 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 really bad at being trash. Really? We're like besties. What do you mean? No, yeah, no, hold on. I don't. I don't think I'm better than Alex. I know I'm better than him. Like clearly, I'm the better anchor. I've been here longer. Like honestly, I'm more of a pro. Like I'm the better anchor. I can't believe Angel said that about me. Like we're best friends, like ride or dice, for him to be talking on my back, not cool, not cool. Anyways, I'm the better anchor. See? What? I'm always the better anchor. Are you the creeper? Do you have something to say to me, Alex? I mean, I think you do. Let's, let's take this outside. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm the better anchor. I'm the better anchor. I'm the better anchor. Every time I hear about you, you are saying you mumble too much. I don't know. I don't know.